So Hello. today we are meeting with Darren. Darren So. You are a landscape and, landscape architect. and architectural photographer. Okay. Award winning photographer. No, just <laughs> landscape architect. <photographer. laughs> so you're local Singapore. Yeah. Yes, from Singapore. Here we are at um, one of the public housing estates in Singapore. It's called the Pongo Waterway Terraces. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've brought Locke here to show him around. Yeah. yeah. Devon So is a Singaporean architectural photographer and indeed an award winning photographer with works shown around the world, also on magazines such as Monaco and Wallpaper. So, of course, mm -hmm. you have got your kit here. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to know what do you use to make those shots. Sure. I'm, I already mentioned that I like this bag a lot. Yes. And I also mentioned that this is my third or fourth donkey because I used so many of them and worn them out over the years. It's not flashy, mm -hmm. it's really mm -hmm. simple, but mm -hmm. it's really functional. Yes. I like this clip that just just simple. It might, I mean mm -hmm. it's like a it's like a Land Rover. Mm. Everything is just so simple. Yeah. Not not fancy, not multi compartment, yeah. Not transformable. When you open it, mm -hmm. everything just lay out nicely. Yeah, see, like this. There you go. So it's it's actually quite amazing what fits into this. It's a Domkey F2, by the way. Yeah, uh, I've got my two A7R2 bodies from Sony. A7R2 times two. Yep. We shouldn't compare it with like medium format bags, <laughs> which cost like several times the price. But when it comes to a full frame 35 mil cameras, I think the the sensor on the A7R2 has one of the best qualities in the world. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I use them with uh, tilt shift lenses. Yes. The 17, Ooh. the 24, they're both on the Metabones adapters. Uh, I have the, the 7200 F4G 7200. because I, I don't need the 2.8 for architecture and landscape work. Yeah, yeah. So lighter is better. So this one. So these are both for close up. <coughs> Close yeah. up shot or details. Like details, or if I need to compress the landscape or the buildings. Yeah, and then over here I have this. This is very interesting. Uh, it's an old Nikon 35 millimeter PC lens uh -huh. that I have on an adapter to use on the Sony's, which uh, is actually very very useful because uh, there's a 24, there's a 17, um, this is a 35. And there's a lot of adapters and different. Well, okay, this uh, this this part is not really necessary, but it's just that because I sometimes use other Nikon lenses, which I can use this. It's a keep on shift adapter to. That, that's shift, shift adapter. Yes, well, yeah, yeah. Really? It's a shift adapters. I have two of them actually. Yeah. That's really small. Yeah. So okay, the more interesting thing is this. Um, the old Nikon. Uh, 50 millimeter AIS lenses. The oh shit! Eight. It's already overheated. <laughs> Again. Well, uh, it's a small camera. Take 4K maybe. <laughs> but this one is still rolling, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, <laughs> a 50 millimeter AIS Nikon f 1.8, and actually, when you mount it on this uh, keep on shift adapter, it allows you to shift up to 10 millimeters. And this is not actually a shift lens. So the image circle for the old Nikon 15mm is really big. Wow. Yeah, so, so it's interesting. We, we found it out by trial and error. And I've actually used it to replace uh, the old Canon 45 tilt shift because it's really not a very sharp lens. Uh, oh. but, but this one is, is really sharp. So I've been using it as a shift lens with the adapter. Interesting. Yeah, so you know, it, it's a very pleasant surprise because uh, it gives you a very cheap shift lens. Because this lens can be gotten for like a hundred over bucks. And the adapter is like another hundred over bucks. So, you know, it's a win-win situation <laughs> if you mount it on the Sony. And here, I have the, the, the 10 millimeter point lander that uh, I was talking about just now that I use a lot because sometimes you just need to go wide when you're shooting uh, architecture or landscapes. Uh, it has to be used properly though because if you put people in the corners, they become very strange looking aliens. 
Mm -hmm. So let's try not to do that and I, I'm usually quite careful about that. You see in the sides of my uh, donkey bag, I've got my card holders and I've got plenty of <laughs> batteries. <laughs> A7R2 batteries. Yeah. Oh, uh, of course, you got two cameras. Yes. You know, they don't last the longest. I mean, they're more than decent for me, but you know, these batteries are small and mm. light, so you know. Yeah, again, trade off for a yeah. small camera. And then there's also the iPhone, which I use to do panoramas, uh, which works <laughs> really, really well. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. And uh, I've actually managed to print an image from an iPhone 6 uh, when I was using an iPhone 6 uh, in, a, in a panorama with 3 meters by 1 meter. So it's actually <laughs> quite usable when you need it. Look at the way it, it, it deploys. See? So quick. Oh, you don't even have to tighten Yeah, this? no, you just do from the end. Oh. And then the whole thing tightens. Yeah, yeah keep waiting for like yeah. a single action tripod. Oh, it's great light. I'm going <laughs> to take some pictures. 